Symfony Project Tutorial, Mastering Doctrine, Database Configuration, and Migrations. Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to install Doctrine seamlessly, configure your database for optimal performance, and create entity classes that drive your application's data structure. Let's start. We will be following the Symfony documentation methodically. First, install Doctrine support via the ORM Symfony pack, as well as the Maker Bundle, which will help generate some code. After the installation of Doctrine, the next step involves configuring the database. This entails locating and customizing the database connection information, which is stored as an environment variable named database underscore URL within the end file. In our specific scenario, we utilize MySQL for the connection, connecting as the root user without a password. Consequently, the value for this variable should remain empty, and subsequently, you can update the name of the database as needed. In our situation, we set up video underscore db as the database name. Therefore, before progressing to the subsequent step, it is essential to create a database with this designated name on our web server, in this instance, I am using WAMP. Certainly. Now, let's proceed to the following stage, which involves the creation of an entity class. To accomplish this task, we utilize the make entity command allowing us to generate this class along with any required fields. During the execution of this command, you will be prompted with a series of questions. Simply provide your responses in the manner demonstrated in the video tutorial. Impressive. We've just generated a new file located at src entity video.php. This particular class is referred to as an entity. So, we'll have the capability to store and retrieve video objects within a dedicated video table in our database. Each property in the video entity corresponds to a column in that specific table.
Moving on to the subsequent phase, migrations the process of generating the database tables and schema. While our video class is now fully configured for saving to a video table, it's important to note that although we've defined this class, the corresponding video table doesn't exist in our database just yet. To address this, we'll make use of the Doctrine Migrations Bundle, a tool that is already installed for this purpose. Following the successful execution of the command php bin slash console make migration, which proceeded smoothly according to the demonstration, our next step involves running the migrations. This is achieved through the command php bin slash console doctrine migrations migrate. This command is responsible for executing all migration files that haven't been applied to your database yet. It's particularly crucial to run this command in a production environment during deployment to ensure your production database remains current and up to date. We can now access our database to observe the migration progress. As evident, all the columns have been successfully added to the video table, indicating that everything has been executed seamlessly.